This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Full Sail University. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Here is finally my review of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and also the S6 Edge. Now, both of these phones have a design upgrade. Samsung decided to go this year with sexy. They're trying to bring sexy back. And I think they definitely accomplished that. But there's a couple things that had to be cut out of this phone that some people, especially diehard fans of Samsung, probably are not going to like. But before we get to those things, it's gonna take a closer look at the design and see what Samsung got right. And so Samsung made a unibody frame, a metal frame for both of these phones. And they have Gorilla Glass 4 on the front for the display and also on the back. Now that may sound like a slippery combination, but Samsung did a really good job at allowing these phones to still have a nice grip to them um, on the edge. Now, I did find the S6 Edge just to be a little bit more slippier because um, you're holding on to less of the edge of the phone and just more display. Um, and sometimes I did wish I had a case on the S6 Edge, but I never felt that I needed to get one. But if I had to pick, I would pick the S6 as a better phone overall to hold than the S6 Edge. Now, if you take a look on the left-hand side, you will find the volume buttons. On the right-hand side of the phones, you'll find the power button and on the s6 you'll find the sim card slot but on the s6 edge they move that sim card slot to the top of the phone now on the bottom you'll find the headphone jack the micro usb port and also you'll find the speaker so the speaker has been moved from the back like it was on the samsung galaxy s5 to the bottom on these S6 edges. And this is gonna allow the audio to just be able to be projected more at you. And so the audio is louder, it is crispier, it is not on the same status as the HTC Boom sound speakers, but it's definitely a big improvement over the ones that were on the S5 and below. And now last year, Samsung introduced a fingerprint scanner with the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now you had to swipe your finger down though on it, just couldn't touch it like you could with Touch ID on the iPhone. But Samsung has definitely caught up and made it super easy to use, just like Touch ID, where you just need to tap your finger down and it immediately unlocks your phone. Um, and you can also use this with different apps and different pay services. So the fingerprint scanner gets a thumb down for me, which really, I mean, thumb down because of the action, but it's really a thumbs up because it's a good thing. But you, you know what I mean, no, never mind. But quickly, let me get back to the design because Samsung did a good job with this design. They made it more premium. This is what people were asking for. Get rid of the plastic and they've done that. They got you metal and glass. But a couple of things are missing that I really like with previous Samsung phones. One, you cannot remove the battery yourself. You can't even take off the back cover, so don't even be thinking about that. And two, the, there is no micro SD card slot, so you can't expand your storage. So this phone comes with 32, 64, or 128 gigabyte configuration, so that's all you get unless you use some type of cloud storage, uh, but no micro SD card slot. And also, this phone is not water resistant like the S5 was, so I know a lot of people drop their phones in water, and that's probably the number one reason how phones are breaking, uh, but you don't wanna be doing that intentionally with this S6. And so this year, Samsung decided to go with design over function, but like other phones in the market, like the G4 and other phones like the HTC One, they proved that you can still make a sexy phone and still have a micro SD card slot and or a removable battery. So hopefully Samsung will find a way to rework those features back in future versions of this phone. And so let's get into the specs a little bit more. Both of these phones have three gigabytes of RAM. They also have an octa-core processor, which is gonna speed things along pretty quickly. Everything runs fast on this phone. Um, and also the battery is pretty similar to each other. The S6 Edge on paper has a slightly bigger battery, but both of these phones are gonna get you easily a day worth of your usage. But if you use it sparingly, you can probably make it to noon the next day. And so both of these phones do have wireless charging built in and also Samsung has put in their quick charge. So you can be able to put this phone and start charging it for just a few minutes and you'll get a few few hours worth of usage. But now it's gonna move on to the display. So this is where both these phones kind of go their separate ways. Now, they both have a Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560, and they have 557 PPI, that's pixels per inch. So this is gonna be super, super sharp. But the difference between both of these phones is that the S6 Edge has a display that curves over on both sides. So what use can you get out of a curved display? You're probably asking yourself. Well, in the software, you can swipe over from the right-hand side of the display and it'll show you a few of your favorite contacts and they'll be all color-coded. So you can quickly email or call or text somebody. And then if you're doing this on the lock screen, it'll show you some of your missed calls. Uh, but also too, if you set your phone face down and one of these favorite contacts calls, so say my brother is color red, it'll actually 
display will light up red on the edge. You can see that it's him calling and just touch the heart rate sensor on the back of this phone to either just send it to voicemail to do something else. But the main reason why this curved display is good is because it kind of immerses you a little bit more into what you're looking at on the display. So if you're watching a movie or just playing a game or just browsing through the, the OS, everything just feels like you're just looking directly into a, a screen that's kind of just wrapped around and soaking you in. It sounds a little bit weird as a description, but it is a good thing. Trust me. And so ultimately, I do like this dual edge display. I just wish that Samsung would have more software features that took advantage of it. And this is something, again, the software features that they do have, they can easily replicate that on the regular S6. But of course, you won't have something that's different. Um, but in the future, if they do do that and maybe possibly drop the price down $50, I think a lot more people will be interested in it. So right now, it's one of those things that is cool, is great to show off, is very innovative. Um, but just price wise, it's going to keep a, a lot of people away from it. And one thing Samsung is known for is having really good cameras on their phones, and the S6 has the best camera of any Samsung phone out yet. Now, the front face camera is a five megapixel shooter, which is super wide. So if you want to take group selfies, it's going to be great for that. Uh, but also the rear facing camera is a 16 megapixel shooter that can record 4K, 1080p video. Everything looks really sharp on there. Now, like a lot of other Samsung cameras, it is a little bit warm, just like the display. Um, so your yellows are going to be a little bit more prominent. It's not going to be, you know, as color accurate as other phones on the market right now. And indoor performance could be better. But overall, if you have a little bit of light, you're going to be able to get some decent shots with this phone but it really is gonna shine when you have a good enough light where this sensor can just really take advantage of everything. And then software features, like you have the ability now to do uh, lock on focus. So you can lock on maybe your kid who's running around, it'll continue to keep that kid and track that kid and keep them in focus. So that's a very nice addition that Samsung has added to the camera. But overall, if you want one of the best cameras on a cell phone, uh, you're definitely not gonna go wrong with this Essex. Now, software-wise, these phones are running Android 5.0 Lollipop, and also they have their TouchWiz UI on top of it. But ultimately, Samsung really just decided to hold back on a lot of extra features that they really started introducing with the Galaxy S4. Um, so they have some of these features that you just need to download, especially for the camera, but some of them, they just really wanted to make sure that they could organize everything a little bit better, like organizing the settings better, having the quick toggles just be a little bit better. And performance, because of this, the hardware with this phone, you're not going to see any slowdown or lag at all while doing anything playing games, watching movies, nothing like that. And so you'll find a couple new additions and enhancements with their Knox security. And also they have a new smart tools app that'll help you manage the stuff that's going on with your phone as far as battery usage and storage and apps running. But for the most part, it's a lot of the same. And that could, again, it ultimately depends on you, how you view the TouchWiz software. But for me, I think it's a good thing that they kind of decided just to stop adding too much stuff and just let the phone speak for itself. And so before I go ahead and wrap up and give my final viewpoints about the S6 and the S6 Edge, just gonna take a look at our sponsor real quick. Now, no matter what industry you're in, what field you're working in, what job, almost everything relies on software technology. And Full Sail University has bachelor degree programs to help you become a skilled tech professional through curriculum that offers code and theory with real world experience. Now, one of my favorites is the mobile development bachelor's degree, which is offered on campus and online. And it allows students to develop apps and utilities through courses that cover both iOS and Android development. Now that's not enough, all students receive a laptop at an institutional discount along with other software and tools. So learn more right now about Full Sail University by going to fullsail.edu forward slash soldier and the link will be down below. So overall guys, the Samsung Galaxy S6 is a really great phone. If you've been a fan of Samsung and you've been waiting for them to really take that next step when it comes to design, they've done that. The camera is still really good, they completed that and also the display is one of the best on the market, that's a plus. Now, again, some of the things that need to be fixed is just the price of the Essex Edge and also more software enhancements for it. But then also, too, I think they still need to find a way to keep at least that micro SD card slot, but still make a phone that sexy. Because, again, a lot of his main competition are finding out ways to do that. So I think Samsung should be able to do that in the future. But overall, I really like this phone. If you're a fan of really good hardware, this is going to be the main reason why you want to get this phone. All right, so that's my review. Leave your comment down below what you think about this phone. Remember to like, share, and also do whatever you want with my social network. And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.